Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be talking about how you can find your IP address, specifically your local IP address on Linux. So to start off, let's go ahead and open up a terminal because the terminal is the first one that we'll be focusing on. We'll also be focusing on GNOME, KDE, and other desktops that use GTK like uh, Mate and XFCE. Anyway, to start off, to find your local IP address in the terminal, you would do IP ADDR show. From there, you can look through and find your default network device. So the way you find that is you generally want to ignore this one here. This one doesn't really matter. The one that is important is if you're using Ethernet, it might say something like ENP. In my case, it's ENP5SO. If it's Wi-Fi, it'll have something like that. Basically, you just need to look for like a MAC address like this. Like if you look at the loopback, you can see there's nothing assigned to it and there's nothing going on. But if you go into INET, we can see that this has a IPv4 IP address assigned to 10.196.1.130. And it also has an IPv6 IP address assigned here. So this is how we know what our IP address is. And you can also do uh, IP ADDR show and then just grep and then 10. Dot, and you can do it however you'd like. But and that will just filter out just like your IP addresses. Like if you use a, a 192 base for your IP addresses, you can filter it out that way. I unfortunately don't because I have a double NAT, but you know, that's how it works. So that's how you find the IP address through the terminal. And you can go ahead and copy that. Generally speaking, if you're working on the LAN, you'll probably be using IPv4. So this is the most important, but, uh, if you prefer IPv6, you can also just use this, and this will just help you find information for if you if you need the IP address of a remote computer on your LAN, you need to log into over SSH or FTP or whatever. So let's move on to KDE Plasma. So for KDE Plasma, and if you're using Wi-Fi, this icon here will be a Wi-Fi symbol, but basically just find your network icon, click on it, then find your network connection from there, you can click on details, and as you'll be as you'll be able to see, IPv4 address is right here. IPv6 address is right here, and that is identical to what we saw in the terminal. So that is how you find your IP address information for KDE Plasma 5. Now let's move on to GNOME Shell. So once you're at the GNOME desktop, if you'd like to find your IP address information, it's a little bit similar to the KDE Plasma instructions that I just went over. So first off, you're going to have to start off by finding your connections. So if you're using an Ethernet connection, you'll see this icon that like mine. If you're using a wireless connection, it's still going to be right above your name. It'll just be different. Anyway, you click on here and look for wired settings or wireless settings, just something underneath turn off or in the icons and the settings are different depending on wireless and Ethernet, but basically just click on something similar to this option that I just clicked on until you get to network and if you can't figure out what to click on in here you can also just type in settings and go to the network tab over here once you're there you need to find your default network connection so this means whatever one says connected right next to you so in my case it says underneath wired it says connected 1000 megabits i click on the gear icon and this should show me my detailed information so i can see my ipv4 address and this is a different address because this is a virtual machine running GNOME and it's not in my Plasma desktop. So if you're wondering why the IP address is different, this is why, but this is its IPv4 address and this is its hardware uh, address here and this is its IPv6 address and that's how you can find it on GNOME. Let's move on to the traditional GTK desktops and I should say before we do this, understand that they're all very similar, not entirely accurately the same. Like Mate might look a little bit different than your XFCE desktop, but the concept is roughly the same because they're using the same widget. So let's go to that. All right, so here we are on the XFCE desktop. Now, before we transitioned over to this desktop, I explained how a lot of the network connections for Mate, XFCE, and desktops that use this kind of setup, like the lightweight ones, all work similar. So what I mean by that is on a lot of these desktops, you're going to see this icon if you're using wired. And if you're using wireless, it'll look a, a little different, but it's going to be in this area of the panel up here or down here if you got a panel down here. 
and it's going to have either wireless or wired and you'll see an option that says added connections as well as enable networking or enable Wi-Fi and connection information. You click this menu, click connection information, and this will instantly give you information about your network connection, the one that you're using. Specifically, it's going to show you the active network connections. So f to find the IP address of the local IP address for your system in this way, you can see it right here printed out. And for IPv4, you'll be able to see this is the IP address for this VM specifically. Um, and if you're using a, a different setup, like if your network is 192.168, it'll be different than what I have. And uh, if you don't have IPv6, you won't see this here. But that's how you find the information on desktops like XFCE and Mate. I only showed you it on XFCE because it is very similar, if not identical, on Mate. Anyways, guys, that's the various ways you can find your IP address information for your local IP address on Linux. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.